Hey guys, this is Pokemon 101 and welcome back to another video on Echo Crafts. <laughs> anyway, if you guys are new around here, which there probably is quite a few new people, but I'll get to that later. Um, we began work on this Nether Hub. I haven't been doing a whole lot of work on it recently with like Halloween and everything, but uh, everyone else managed to finish the bottom layer and it is looking super cool. Also, just having items floating on the glass feels kind of weird. <laughs> so to recap, this whole thing is going to be kind of like a space void galaxy sort of thing. So looking down, obviously that, that beacon and like the scouting and stuff, those are all going to be gone. Um, when all this is done, we are basically just going to look down straight into all the, you know, all the stars and stuff you can see, um, you know, the end rods and, and uh, sea lanterns. Um, there's a bunch of layers of glass down here to create this fog effect and um, besides the very edges, you know, it looks very, very cool and distant. We did try our best with the edges to try to get it as seamless as possible, but like to do it perfectly would make just dozens and dozens of hours of digging and building. So <laughs> we're leaving it. We're leaving it as it is. Hopefully once we get this top dome done, which I want to uh, get done in this episode, um, you know, that should be much less uh, important. But anyway, like I said, welcome back to those who have been around here for a while, and welcome to the channel to those of you who may be new because I just recently reached 1,000 subscribers after seven years on, on YouTube. I've been doing this for a while, and uh, hopefully uh, you guys that are new around here can uh, can see that. I've been uh, doing my best to make the best content I can here. So I've been doing this for a long time and hope to do it for even longer. So uh, with that, let's get right into the video because like I said, we are going to create a massive dome and you've, you've already got the start of a wall down here with the black concrete, but this isn't going to be all of it. You know, this we've got this whole black concrete with like kind of sporadic sea lanterns and stuff. Uh, that's kind of what we're starting with. But as we get up towards the top, we're going to get much more condensed with uh, like Crying Obsidian and Skulk and stuff uh, and hopefully create a very cool spiraling galaxy. Now, as you can probably tell, this is going to take a while. And like I said, I want to get this done in this episode, but I'm not going to do it all by myself. <laughs> we're, I'm going to get a, a lot of the people to come on here and help me and uh, we can hopefully uh, grind this out fairly quickly because a lot of people have really been itching uh, to get this done. But I do want to get a slice of it done on my own, just so you guys can see kind of the style we're going for and um, hopefully get a good idea of what this is going to look like before it's actually done. Now, one thing I'm starting to realize <laughs> is that uh, we're building a dome from the inside. That might be a problem. We're going to need a lot of scaffolding for this because there's no way <laughs> that this is going to be easy without that. Uh, and I am not really finding any in all of these shulker boxes that people prefer. Oh, there's, I got 11 guys. We're, we're good. <laughs> no, yeah, uh, we're going to need a lot of scaffolding. Luckily, I do have a lot of bamboo at my place, but as for string, where did my rockets, I had, where'd my rockets go? Wait a minute, I had, uh... all right, well, I guess I'm gonna go buy some rockets and then head over to my base uh, and grab some bamboo. Here, I, I'm gonna make a rocket box because I've never actually like had one I never actually had enough rockets to warrant just having a shulker box for them. <laughs> oh yeah, while we're on, while we're on the topic, um, I did die recently and <laughs> and lose all my stuff, uh, but I did get uh, pizza. Did provide me with a few few backups with the uh, little thousand subscriber congratulation, which was fun. I'm kind of proud though, because it's been a while since I've died and lost everything. Last season, it was happening like every few weeks. It was crazy, uh, but I've been able to hold on to my stuff. Uh, much easier this season. Now, I made this uh, automatic bamboo farm. It's only one stock, but like I thought, you know, over time, that's going to give me plenty, right? Uh, but I'm never over here to load it. So I've literally got 47 bamboo. I thought this would be my main supply. And then anytime I needed like bulk, I would just come over here and uh, grab a bunch. But nope, uh, <laughs> it's just kind of useless. Oh, this is fun. Uh, Lucid recently built this portal up to the nether ceiling to like the gold farms and stuff, uh, but it didn't link up correctly. So now every single time we go through the spawn portal, we just spawn on the nether ceiling. <laughs> so uh, uh, we just kind of have to glide down there. And if you don't have a Lytra, you're just kind of screwed. Hello, Mr. Chicken. How are you doing up here? Wait, is that spawn chicken? Wait, did spawn chicken finally come down from his pedestal?
Oh, no, nope. Spawn chicken is still here. Uh, <laughs> this chicken has stood in that spot for I don't know how long. Oh, that's a thunderstorm. Ooh. This chicken has been here like since the server began, basically, ever since like pizza built this this rock like two weeks in the season. And I don't know if it's because it's on a slab or something like this pathfinding is just messed up or or whatever. But uh, yeah, he's just that's just a staple of the server now. It's kind of fun. <laughs> Oh, 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 okay, nether, nether chicken is gone again. Anyway, I was coming up here to grab some string. These guys, yeah, bar, piglins barter string. That's good. I, I was thinking it was a, I was gonna really struggle for string. Anyway, let's go down here and get started on the build. Uh, someone's already started over here, but there are a lot of hoglins. <laughs> that is a lot of hoglins. I might as well actually start over here. Uh, it is more open than the rest of the place, so it'd be nice to like, just do it without thinking too much about, you know, falling off of scaffolding uh, and commenting at the same time. Uh, and plus it protect us from uh, any gas that decide to float in here because otherwise uh, we're pretty well sealed off. Oh, they saw me. They saw me. No, 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 no. Leave me alone. Oh, wait. I can tank hit. Okay, never mind. Never mind. Chest plate, chest plate, chest plate. There we go. Come on, guys. Yeah, you can't hit me. How much damage? They're doing literally half a heart. I've never been so unafraid of hoglins before. Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah. Uh. Yep. Okay. We do. We do still get gas somewhere. Uh. Oh, I broke the glass. Oh, that's annoying. Right. Anyway, hopefully there's no more distractions while I try to demonstrate what we're doing here. Okay. So basically, like I said, we're starting with a lot of black concrete, but then as we get up higher, it's going to be much more condensed with the skulk and stuff it's, until it's almost like entirely skulk. So basically, uh, we can have this super cool, like swirling galaxy design um, way up high. So like, it's not like you can just walk up and touch it. It kind of makes it feel a little bit more grand if you're separated from a, a bit by uh, by the black concrete. Obviously, without seeing it yet, it's a little bit hard to explain, but uh, let me just get a few more rows down here and then I can kind of show you what I mean. All right, so I've got a good amount of it done. It's uh, a little hard to see <laughs> with the uh, stair-stepping mess of scaffolding, <laughs> uh, especially as we're getting up towards the top. It's uh, really just up against your head the entire time, so there's not much uh, room you got to maneuver. <laughs> uh, but you can kind of see uh, we've kind of started down here uh, kind of with a couple sporadic uh we'll call them stars for lack of a better term um and then as we go up it just becomes more and more condensed and swirly and we like we still have plenty of black concrete in here uh because it's not entirely uh skulk when when the whole thing is done uh, uh, trust me it does look really really cool when it's done um it basically just looks like yeah there's like a, f a bunch of swirls there's some kind of paths you can follow in the uh and the design and uh i think it's Really nice, but uh, obviously it's going to take a while to build, especially if we're having to use a lot of scaffolding on this. I wonder, actually, um, I'm going to finish this strip kind of up. I could, oh, ooh, okay, never mind, never mind. <laughs> I was about to say I was going to finish that strip up to the top, but that doesn't actually go right up to the top. It's kind of a weird angle. Wait, where... Where did the... Where did this fire arrow come from? Who... Sh who shot this and where? Because <laughs> uh, lagging's online, but he's AFK. Oh, it just disappeared. Where did that come from? Where, <laughs> where did that arrow come from? Was it the skeleton? Did the skeleton have a flame bow? No, he's just got a normal end. Where did... <laughs> okay. Oh, rocket work. Activate. Fly. I'm just gliding. Your rockets must be a little faulty. You might have to get some from Rocket Industries. I did. These are these are your rockets. Crap. These are your <laughs> flight duration three rockets. <laughs> Why did you buy flight duration three ones? I saw someone bought them. Here's to be convenient. Ah. <laughs> there it is. I okay. went to drop down from the gold farm and then just <laughs> that's just a block there. Oh no! <laughs> <laughs> Can we just like keep all of this here until this is done? Like, <laughs> like right at, right at the end, we could just have like a uh, like a chain of pistons or something like that, and just oh. like rev just drop them all at the same time. Oh, hello. Yeah. Um, 
<laughs> found <that>. a Gastel. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, I don't, I don't see any problem with that. This, this looks super fun anyways. It does look cool. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> it, it worked. Oh, who's shooting at me? I love in the nether. It's not like, ah, oh, someone's shooting at me. It's like, who is it? Who's doing it? Who, is it you? Who's doing it? <laughs> oh, no. Oh, no. What? No. Okay. Um, printer mode only works whenever the blocks that you're placing are already adjacent to another block. We've reached, we've reached no the point cheating. where the diagonal... <laughs> you have diagonal. to build normally oh, now. <laughs> never mind. Never mind. It's fixed again. I'm <laughs> Is it, is it just these uh, those, those four corner it's blocks? It's just the very edges, yeah. It's just the very edges. <laughs> Why don't you set to show off? <laughs> <laughs> ah! I, I heard stories of some people finding ancient debris when building this. All I ever <laughs> find is lava. I feel like Charlie Brown. I got a candy apple. I got lava. I got a rock. <laughs> I got I got a rock. Skeleton! I got an arrow to my face, apparently. You're a hero ghast. Where art thou? Thou creature. You put- you replaced the block. To the nether <laughs> ceiling. <laughs> okay, okay. It was already there whenever I went through. Like, I went through and it was there. <laughs> Twice like, has I happened today. I only, I only put it there because it was already there. <laughs> Why are there so many eggs <laughs> just <laughs> on the at the ceiling? What is going? <laughs> Wait a minute. What? <laughs> Why are there so many chickens up? Did 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 another chicken just like multiply? What happened <laughs> here? Uh, okay, someone someone uh spawned a bunch of chickens up here and they're uh, they're sending eggs through dimensions. <laughs> oh, there's even more down here. All right, well, <laughs> I'm gonna ignore that for a second. Uh, anyway, uh, while my elytra decides to stop flying, there we go. Um, as you saw, Pizza and I did a lot of work on the Nether Hub, and uh, well, it's done now. Uh, <laughs> Uh, we got off and then uh, Rabbit just came on here and just grinded it all out in one night. So yeah, it's done. Uh, that took a lot less uh, time than I thought it would. So yeah, that's cool. Uh, we have kept all the scaffolding up and stuff. We're going to do basically a big grand reveal. We're going to get a bunch of people together, hook up all these towers to some pistons, and then with the press of the button, the whole thing is going to come down uh, and show off just how cool this thing is. So yeah, that's going to be really exciting. And since as it's done a lot earlier than I thought it would be, I thought I'd get started on some of the nether tunnels that are going to be going uh, down beyond the uh, beyond the hub. We do have one tunnel that goes down here, but literally only just so that we can get to the uh, the end portal easily from the. Excuse me, please. Can I can I fly? So yeah, we've got that path all the way up to the end portal. But other than that, we don't have any other tunnels down at the level of the actual hub. All we have is these old ones uh, that we've kind of dug up towards the uh, the nether ceiling that we've had since the beginning of the season. And we're not not going to be using any of these anymore for the most part, I think. Um, for like super long distance stuff, I feel like we're probably going to have some, uh, maybe an elevator or something up to here. We don't know yet because we do have a few portals that are like thousands of blocks away down these uh, nether tunnels that we'll still probably want to use and not have to redig over and over again. My Okay, this happens sometimes. <laughs> uh, this happens sometimes where my rockets uh, will not fade away. So they'll just keep dashing me around. And I won't take any damage. Uh, I can just go literally as far as I want and just at full speed. Uh, but usually, you know, I get teleported back. My internet is not the best today. <laughs> Now, one material we're going to be using a lot in this build is cyan terracotta, which I was a little worried for a second would be uh, really annoying to gather because uh, between a single piece of cactus taking like 20 minutes to grow and then you have to smelt it and, uh, you know, mine a bunch of lapis and stuff. Um, yeah, the dye itself is probably the hardest part of this, except one of the new plants the sniffers dropped, the pitcher pod, actually gives you 
cyan dye, which is really nice because these things are way, way easier to get than uh, than cactus. They actually give you two a piece, which is really nice. And you might think, well, the sniffers take a lot of time to sniff those up. And even the, why did my light, my light just been really weird today. It just activated out of nowhere. Anyway, you might be wondering, you know, the sniffers take a while to sniff them up. And even then it's you know, a 50, 50% chance for them to do that instead of the other uh, plant, which I don't know the name of, <laughs> but I've done the math and it's still quicker than the cactus farm, honestly. So uh, I've started growing a bunch of them over here so that we can use them for uh, this nether hub. And hopefully this technique will last us for a while. And now I am wondering, can you fortune these? No, you can't. So yeah, I was hoping this would be even more efficient, but honestly, it's not even going to be a problem. Look how much dye we've got. If, if, my game lets me craft. Yeah, even a handful of those gave me way more than enough than I need to get at least started on this thing. All right, so we got all the materials we need, and this is a block palette I actually haven't seen in a long while. This was a block palette that was really, really popular, I feel like, when uh, 1.13 first came out. It's just a really interesting mix of like grays and whites and just like a little bit of color. But anyway, uh, actually building this thing, we're sticking with the theme of the space and stuff and actually making a spaceship interior, or at least like spaceship hallways. And most of it is like the cyan terracotta and like the grays and stuff. But yeah, we do have like a few splashes of color in the mix that make it look really, really nice. All right, so basically this whole thing is split into two different segments that just keep repeating over and over again uh, that are separated by basically these pillars of uh, gray, no, not light, uh, cyan terracotta. It's, it's cyan, even though it does not look that color at all. So this first section basically just kind of indents into the wall and then kind of curves up. So it's kind of like a, a curve. I completely lost my sentence there, but it curves into this wall of smooth quartz and smooth quartz is a block I don't appreciate enough, honestly, because it's, you know, I think since white concrete uh, started coming into the game, uh, everyone's just kind of forgotten quartz exists, uh, exists a little bit as like the white block, but it's got like the little texture. You, I, you can't see it super easily, but it's got just little dark streaks that make the texture look really, really nice, especially combined with some of the rest of these blocks. It's just a tiny, tiny little bit of detail that really makes this thing look really nice. So yeah, it curves right back up into the ceiling, which we're using some Polished diary, which is also another one of those white blocks I don't feel like is used enough. And then right down the middle, we've kind of continuing the skulk and sea lanterns from the actual hub to kind of just keep a little bit of a uh, little bit of blending there. So this is like the main part of the uh, design. But then we have this little three by three section in the middle uh, that just kind of breaks up the whole thing. And I feel like looks really, really nice. Because remember, most of the time we're going to be flying through this thing at like mock speed, so we can't have it like too detailed, otherwise you start getting motion sick. But if it's too simple, then it doesn't look good enough when you're, you know, standing inside of it. So uh, we just have these tiny little bits that, oh, uh, I'm putting these in the wrong spot. We have these tiny little sections that just kind of break up the whole thing, but uh, keep it still uh, fairly, fairly simple. So we've got this little section with the trapdoors that I, I think look really, really nice compared to like the rest of us. It's just a little bit of dark color uh but also it kind of reminds me um a little bit of like the tardis round things if you ever watched doctor who um it's kind of got that little uh design thing right there which i think is really nice it kind of fits a little bit more with the space thing and i placed this one block too low but luckily i have a silk touch shovel <laughs> but there we go we only have like half of it right now but this is going to be the repeating pattern that just keeps going down and i think it looks really really nice i like the color mixed in with like the grays and whites and stuff but anyway it is time for the grand reveal of the nether hub and pizza has crafted up a bunch of pistons to help with this which is going to be super nice so i'm just going to go ahead and start hooking all these up to the towers so that we can just press a button in the middle and send this whole thing down all right welcome everyone to the nether hub grand reveal the two of you that showed up. Honestly, it's it's like noon on a Saturday. I'm surprised you guys showed up. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. But anyway, yeah, welcome to the Grand Reveal. We've set up all the scaffolding to uh, be all destroyed with a single button press. And uh, yeah, this is, hopefully this doesn't crash my game. <laughs> <laughs> it, 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 might, it might, honestly. Like the scaffolding just yep. being here has already dropped my game down to like 30 FPS. I mean, you have trouble with particles, right? So I've got particles <laughs> off, be a lot yeah, of... but yeah, 
Let's just let's just go for it. Let's just let's do it. Be a lot of oh jeez! Oh, oh no! I'm my, frame my, Oh jeez! Oh no! My game is frozen. <laughs> oh no! Oh, it's oh, gone. No. Except for one scaffolding. Except for one scaffolding. Oh, did we miss it? Oh, I'll fix it. I'll fix it. Wait. Uh, okay. It's still loaded. You you can if you're quick, you can do it before <laughs> the rest of my game loads in. So it's all. There's so much scaffolding. <laughs> that oh, that was a lag okay. spike there. Okay, there we go. Now yeah. you can see what this whole thing looks like. I think I kind of need to turn my FOV up to like <laughs> see this whole thing. Like go into Quake Pro, you can see like the swirls and stuff. You can kind of follow like trails in the skulk as if it's like a galaxy. This is probably the uh, my favorite Minecraft project I've I've done in a while. Oh, it took my. forever, and I died like twenty <laughs> times. But <laughs> oh, it was so much time. All right, guys, with that, that's going to be the end of my video right here. We've been working on this project for months, and so it's so good to finally see it complete. And I hope you guys like it as much as we do. In the next episode, we're starting something new, something that might, in the long run, be more ambitious than this. It's going to be a season-long project that hopefully is going to end up really really nice but we're gonna be we're gonna be taking way more baby steps along the way <laughs> there's there's a lot more to it than than this hub and uh just kind of grinding out blocks like this but i hope you guys are excited to see that i've been waiting since last season to do this project so it's gonna be really fun for me at least so yeah with that i hope you guys enjoyed and i will see you in the next one bye